Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So the Japan team, they've been selected for the World Championships and I get a lot of comments. Why was this person selected over this person? So I thought I would just go through it and talk about each person and why they've been selected as well as why the other people haven't been selected. So uh, here we see Koga. Koga Genki beat Takato and for some reason Takato was selected over Koga Genki and the reason is, well, Takato, he's Olympic champion. So what the Japan team does is they take into consideration, it's kind of similar just to the IGF, how you have points, different points for different uh, levels of tournaments. And then as time goes on, those points decay over time. So similar system, but they also consider their domestic competitions as well. So Takato, he just had the Olympic gold medal to his name, which was the deciding factor. And he also got to the final, so he, he didn't lose in the first round and he also competed in the tournament, which are two critical things as well. So under 66, Abe and Moriyama, two people have been selected. So the way the World Championships works is you can take two people for two weight classes. So Japan decided to go with Moriyama and Abe for 66. Reason being, Abe Moriyama just two of the top guys on top of the world, number one and number two, probably at 66. And they both competed in this tournament, the All Japan, what, what do you call it, oh, uh, weight category competition. It's got a strange name. It's called the Senbatsu. But yeah, they both competed. They both made it to the final. Abe win one with Shido's. Not the greatest contest in the world, but that's why those two have been decided. So next we're 73 now, and uh, Ono Shohei, he is Olympic champion, obviously, two times Olympic champion, competes frequently, lots of wins on the international scene, but uh, he did not compete at this Senbatsu tournament that they held in April of 2022. Not sure why. Personally, I think Ono Shohei has problems cutting weight. He is kind of prone to pulling out of tournaments. And I do think it wasn't an injury, it wasn't like COVID or a cold or something. Um, I do think he maybe had some problems cutting weight. So uh, Hashimoto, he went into the tournament, he won the tournament, and I mean, he survived in this final, won by Shiro's, and so he's been selected there. So uh, one of the criteria for selection is that you must compete in this tournament here, the Senbatsu, and Hashimoto did, and won it. So. That's why he's being selected at 73. So next up, 81 and Nagase Fujiwara both selected. So this is where they played that two-man card again for the World Championships. And you had Sasaki as well, who was in this contest. And he went out earlier in the rounds. And when you do look at their international kind of records, you see Fujiwara just having a little bit better record than um, Sasaki. So that's why Fujiwara was selected. Fujiwara, he's he's doing better on the international scene than he has been in the past. And Sasaki, well, he's had some good wins, but he's also kind of gone out early as well. So uh, that was probably the deciding factor. I think if Sasaki got to the final and it was Nagase and Sasaki, they probably would have went Nagase and Sasaki. But because he went out early, that's why Fujiwara and Nagase have been selected. Pretty sure I don't need to give some reasoning for Nagase. I mean... Olympic champion, Samus Takato, I think it was inevitable as long as he competed in this contest, got relatively far, even if he lost this final, although he did win it with a spectacular Ipon, even if he lost, I'm pretty sure he would have been selected. Next up, the 90s, and this one's kind of interesting, so you got Mashiyama, Mashiyama, a new kind of face, you probably haven't seen him much, but he won the thing, so that's critical. And Murao, Murao went out in the first round and he went out to this person here, Tajima. And going out in the first round at the Senbatsu is not a good look. And then Mashiyama, he's won this twice. He's won this twice, two years in a row. So that is kind of a, a huge thing against his name. I mean, what else, what else does he need to do to get selected? So uh, Murao going out early and then Mashiyama winning the thing. Two times in a row, I mean, you just had to select him. And there's also Mukai. Mukai also went out early. And, I mean, his international record, not the best. Losing out early in the Olympics as well. So I think they're trying to find someone 
who can fit that that 90 kg spot. I think Morales the man, but to even be considered for selection, you need to first appear in this tournament and second get past the first round. Right next at uh, under 100s, there was Hugger. Hugger won the contest, but they selected Ida, and interestingly, Ida lost to Hugger. It wasn't his first contest, so that's important, but I talked about earlier the decay, the point decay. So Hugger hasn't been on the international scene in quite some time, whereas Ida has, and so those points are important. And also the international points are much more important than the domestic points. So Hugger winning the All Japan, it's not as significant in terms of points as Ida kind of winning the, I think it was the Baku Grand Slam in 2021. Plus 100s, so this one, Saito, he ended up in a draw in the final, which is kind of ridiculous. And then they decided to decide it at the All Japan Openweight Tournament, and he won that as well. And at both tournaments, he beat Kageuda, who was previous world champion, he has a lot of international points. And so if you beat the man twice in two contests, I mean, that that's, that's a pretty big push for your name. So Saito has been chosen for that reason. So that's it, guys. It's kind of interesting. I think they made the right choices, but were they correct in picking the two? So, for example, two at 66 and two at 81. Maybe I think Nagayama missed out a little bit, but he went out early as well. And also under 90s, Murao, maybe they should have picked two for under 90s, but I do think Fujiwara and Mariyama, they definitely deserve the selection. Alright guys, looking forward to the World Championships. Like, subscribe. I'll see you later.